of course, there's going to be more coming uh, down the track. But don't forget, this is a, a huge amount that we're spending on top of the 14 billion that we spent uh, as soon as we came in to increase the funding for, for primary school children, for, for secondary school children, make sure that every teacher started on a starting salary of £30,000. What we're now doing is uh, the, the biggest tutoring programme anywhere in the world. There's no question that um, many kids are, are in, incredibly resilient. They, they've bounced back very well from the pandemic, but a lot of them also need help to catch up, to make good the loss of learning that's taken place during the pandemic. Now, all the evidence shows the best way to do that is to focus on the individual pupil, the individual child as much as, as you can. And so uh, that's why we're, we're going for tutoring in this, in this massive way. And we're going to be supplying uh, 15 uh, weekly sessions, uh, which is, uh, we think, good for uh, three to five months of attainment for a, uh, for a, a pupil. And what it sh should do is give the funds to the, to the schools, obviously, to, to buy in the, uh, the tutoring, to support tutoring networks, support tutoring clubs, support tutors, uh, people to come in and, uh, and do it, uh, but, but also to give parents the confidence that uh, their child is going to get uh, particular attention to help them catch up, uh, but also uh, to find potential in kids uh, that you know, may be uh, missed uh, in, in the back of the classroom. So I think tutoring can make a, a huge, huge difference. We're also supporting, uh, putting a lot of money now, extra money into teaching and supporting teachers as well. Great schools are, the difference between a great school and a not so great school is all about the teachers and the leadership uh, and the imagination that they show. And what we want to do is support teachers who may be brilliant uh, teachers but who maybe now need to make a, a move to being say head of sixth form or, or even head of the school. We want to support them, uh, give them the, the extra uh, grounding that they need to make that, uh, make that change as well. So it's a big package for tutoring, uh, it's a, a huge package for tutoring, it's a, a big package for, for teaching and uh, hopefully there'll be more to come. Last week you said you could see nothing in the data to indicate that the next stage of opening up could not happen on June the 21st. Is that still the case? I can see nothing uh, in the data at the moment that uh, means we can't go ahead with step four or the, the opening on June the 20, 21st. But we've got to be so cautious because there's no question uh, the ONS uh, data of infection rates is showing an increase. We always knew that was going to happen. Don't forget, I, we always said that the unlocking steps that we've taken would lead to increases in infection. What, what we need to work out is to what extent the vaccination programme has protected enough of us, particularly the elderly and vulnerable, against a new surge. And there, I'm afraid, the data is just still ambiguous and so every day we're having long sessions we're interrogating all the the, the, the data we're looking at all the various models and the, the best the scientists can can say at the moment in, in their guidance to us is that we just need to give it a little bit longer and I'm I'm sorry that's frustrating for people I, I know that people uh, want a, a, a clear answer uh, about the, the way ahead for, for June the 21st but at the moment we just gotta wait a little bit longer the travel industry and holiday makers will be looking forward to what is said tomorrow uh, about international travel restrictions. Can you give anyone any hope that there might be more countries added to the green list? You, you've got to wait and see what the uh, what the, the, the Joint Biosecurity Centre say and what the recommendations are about about travel. We're going to try and be uh, trying to allow people to, to travel as, as I know that they many people want to, but we've got to be cautious and we've got to continue to put countries uh, on the on the red list uh, on the amber list uh, when that is necessary and we will have I want you to, to know we will have no hesitation uh, in moving countries from the green list to the amber list to the red list if we have to do so the priority is to uh, continue the vaccine rollout uh, to protect the people of this country and you know the key thing I want to get over to everybody today is looking at the one thing is clear from the data two vaccines really are helpful in protecting you uh, and your family against the virus so you know get your second jab
Uh, finally, many people enjoyed the bank holiday weekend, but I suspect you had a slightly bigger weekend than most. What can you tell us about your big day? Uh, I'm getting on. Thank you very much, Carl. Uh, I'm getting on with, uh, with making sure we can uh, continue the vaccine rollout, uh, continue with our program for educational uh, bounce back and the tutoring revolution. That's, that's what we're getting on with today. Well,